One of the things I've always held on to is this idea that there's no such thing as an insignificant communication. Like everything we say is important. What I love most about it is we've been doing it all of our lives and all of us screw it up. And how if we can get a better grasp and be aware and more mindful about what's going on day to day in our interaction with others, we can make a lot of our problems go away. Well, it's important because they're not gonna be successful without it. They're not going to be able to get someone to marry them without persuasion and awareness. They're not gonna be a good parent without thorough knowledge of good parenting skills. And parenting skills is all messaging. I don't know, I just think it's integral to everything that we do. And so to not be tortuous about it, to not be always afraid to communicate, but to be mindful, to think, you know, if, if someone speaks to me, I don't need to say, hey. I need to say, hello, good to see you. Because that has an impact. And when I am lecturing in front of a class, to be mindful in that, yeah, it's one class, it's the middle of February, but a hundred students have gotten up, they've gotten ready, they're trying to get their education, and for that particular 50-minute period, it has to be top priority. So I've got to think carefully what I'm gonna do, and it's gotta be worth their time. I talk to you know students who are pre-med about how they give bad news to little kids who may be sick. I mean, a little kid is sitting there, doesn't feel good, the parent is crying, little kid's completely bewildered, and the doctor will speak theoretically, you know, in a way that's, to the parents, the little kid doesn't know what's going on, but a really good doctor is gonna stop and say, that little kid is scared to death, doesn't know why his parents are upset. So you get down on one knee and you say to the little kid, you haven't been feeling good. And that's why you're here at the doctor, like when you have a cold. But this is worse than a cold. That's why your parents are scared and they're crying. And here's how we're gonna to try to make you better. And it's gonna be scary, it may make you sick, but we're all gonna work on it together. And so the parents are crying because they love you. And that's a really good thing. And I'm here on my knee because I want you to get better because I really care about your parents and you. I mean, all of a sudden, the little kid has got the information he needs and he's not afraid anymore and he's got a sense of purpose. He, uh, he has ownership of what's taking place. And all of that to me goes back to Einstein. If you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. I think that Florida State is really unique for a couple of reasons. One, you can do anything here. There's something for everyone. I've never seen FSU as an exclusive place. Like you gotta be a part of this group in order to succeed. I really think if you come here and give us 50% of a chance that you're gonna find a place and you're gonna find an academic home and you're gonna find a, a learning community and you're gonna make friends and you're gonna get all these skills and abilities and backgrounds so that you can navigate life a little more easily. That they're good at something and that they have the tools to figure out what that is. That there's contributions that they can make, that they can be a, a responsible member of a community and carve out an, a role, a niche for them, and they can contribute and feel good about the time that they're here on this earth. That's what I want them to get from my classroom. I admire students who get up and go to school and get their degrees, particularly the ones whose families didn't go to college. Their parents have sacrificed and said, this is something I want you to have. And they get in there and they are swimming against the current. Those are the heroes. I never feel like I'm going to work. I just, I just never have. I've always thought about that the difference between a job and a profession is that you're always working. It's who you are, that this whole education endeavor. It's just what you do. I've also loved it within the Florida State fabric is that someone can be a really good teacher and a good citizen and there's a place for them too. That it's not just a place for the world-class researcher. 
place for the world-class teacher, there's a place for the student struggling, there's a place for a person who cares for other people, that, that all the contributions that people can make to our academic community are valued. And I think that's what makes Florida State unique. I think it's one of the things in the whole higher education enterprise that can help someone be uh, the consummate professional whether they go into business or marketing or medicine or dentistry or nursing or, you know, politics, they're gonna have to know how to do this.